to another fish and fries video today. We're in the inner coastal. And we're sleeping here any fish. I just want the bandito bug. Yeah. Um, they should be in my Guggen bag. And I remember I gave them to you yesterday and I put them on the seat and they're down at the bottom. I didn't put them back in my bag if you had them all you did. Black and blue. This rig.
Here we go. Mm -hmm. Got her on video too. Fish, baby, let's go. He was running with it. Biffle. Oh, he has a nasty sore on him. Oh my. See that, guys? This is the Jean Maru Biffle Bug. Do you remember what? Pumpkin candy, I think. Three, five sixteenths ounce. On the Lose Mock Crush combo. Seven foot medium heavy fast tip. And I got this little largemouth. Has a nasty swan on him. On his cheek and on him. His gill. Where he could have got bit. First bass out of the car, Catawba River chain. He was running to the side with it. That's my first bass outside of the Catawba River chain. They got her on video too. Nice, good job, man. He was just running straight to the side with it. It's like, why is that? What color are you using? Um, it's, it's kind of like the. Oh, that's just green pumpkin with a green flake in it, I think. Yeah, like, it's like a candy kind of. Biffle bug. I mean, I'm using pretty much the same thing, but your mouth is very similar. Were you swimming it or was Like it? this. Just exactly like this. Yeah, I just had my line sitting there because I was, because I heard you say you got snagged. My line was just running straight to the side, into straight into the weeds. He was running. I thought it was just the wind pushing it, but I reeled, I just reeled down and bam, fish. First fish on the biffle bug too. Mm -hmm. What a large mouth. So we didn't catch a skunk today. We did yesterday. So guys, you fish the biffle bug kind of just like this. You just let it, you just cast it out, let it sink, and just keep your rod straight up and just pop it a little bit, pop, like a calm pause, pop. And just like move your wrist a tiny bit, then we'll. Then that's exactly how I got him. Just let it sink to the bottom and just do that. I kind of cast out in the middle too. He was running straight back into the weeds, or into the cattails, whatever they are. Blues mock crush. Seven foot, medium heavy, fast taper. Twelve pound mono.
you're using the biff, I'm gonna put it down then. What? I don't know. What? What? I wanna try something else though. Hey, I'm sad. I got it. I'm gonna try the shaky. Oh, that's playing with fire in there. You better make sure you're weedless. Look at that. The biffle, my biffle wasn't weedless. This is the Lose Mach 2 with the Mach Rod. 7 foot, medium, heavy, fast. Yeah, that fish was my first fish not in the Catawba River chain. Are you going that way this time or the other way? Uh, so we went last time or the new way? I don't know which one you want to do. One thing I'm concerned about if we go that way is the bear boat. So, yeah.
wouldn't be surprised if there was a gator in here like that. Those are rocks. what it is. How deep is it right here? Five and a half. Okay guys, now, okay guys, so now we're using the Luge Xfinity Inshore Speed Spin Combo. Um, with a little Kytex swim bait on it. Eight ounce jig head with a Kytex swim bait on it. Eight ounce jig head. You got an eight ounce jig head with a um, Kytex white swim bait trailer. Here's the bait right here. You still nipping it? Oh! Home run. <laughs> I got him. Did you really? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah, he joked. He joked it too. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> got him. <laughs> At least somebody got him. That's all right. Little dink. Little orange mouth. He did get him. He hit it hard. I couldn't get him to take it. He, as soon as he saw it, bam, nailed it. See you, little guy. I thought I got snagged in the weed. You stole my fish. You stole my fish in Lake Norman. That's payback. That's payback, sir. This bait's about done. <laughs> yeah. That's payback for stealing my fish in Norman. I'm getting, I'm, I'm getting snagged on a ton of lilies. Get off my finger. I got that one on video too. You did some good video today, huh? Mm-hmm, good footage. Okay guys, so we move spots. Now we're kind of fishing a point off Main River of the Intercoastal, aka Waccamaw River, South Carolina. Um, so I'm using the Shimano, D Shimano SLX DC with the favorite defender rod. Um, seven foot medium heavy, I think. Yeah, seven foot medium heavy, fast, fast action. And on, on, on I'm throwing the Dugan Squad flat wrap. The flat side. But, well, anyway. Wow, hello, boat. Um, but the color sexy shad, you can kind of see right here. It's like a big square bill. It's not the banger, it's, the, it's a different one, but that's it. Pull pound mono.
D ratio six by six to three. Get off of it. Yes. That's payback. We're still in my catfish and Norman. Are you still recording? Yeah. I just started again. You should give a shout out to Bass Resource because this is exactly the type of spot you said to fish in a river. Mm hmm. Okay, guys, so like my dad just said, I'm giving a shout out to Bass Resource because he, cause he cannot catch fish a lot in rivers. And this is exactly what he, the guy said on there, where to fish, and boom, we got a fish there, so. Okay guys, now we're using the um, Fluger Supreme um, with the Blues TPX1 speed stick, medium 7 foot, moderate fast tip with um, the Fritz side five cream pie but made by Berkeley. Um so yeah. Monk. Yeah. Don't um, don't cast into those pads you'll lose that for sure. I will. I won't. I'm trying to say that's what I'm watching right now. I'm using the rappella but I'm staying right along the edge of them. So I actually wish to be honest with you, I wish I had a swim jig on right now. I don't have a plate when I left you did. I can put one on. I'll put it on. I would love to cast in there and swim that thing out. I'll put it on then. Yeah, that's, so fast. that's a pretty fast switch, guys. So, um, now we're going to use the Shimano SLX DC on the SLX rod. Seven, seven foot two, medium heavy, fast tip. Um, and we're switching out to a, um, a white chatterbait, yeah. swim jig. I have a white chatterbait. Oh, well, you might want to use that white chatterbait. Try your swim jig or chatterbait. I put chatterbait with the trailer on it. What trailer, the should for the bad right now. what trailer should I put on it? Um, one of those raging frogs or, or raging... Rage tails. Yeah, rage tail ones or something. Okay, guys, so I was, I was going to put a swim jig on, but I'm going, I'm going to use, um, the original Chatterbait made by Strike King. I'm gonna hook it up. Hang on. And the trailer I'm gonna use is on um, the. And where is it? In here? Where are they in here? Uh, hopefully have them. I don't know if I have white. I know we have them. I don't know. I don't have white. Go any color. Just go. I know you have white. The rage rage tails are there. No, they're right here. They're in your bag. Oh, good. All right, there you go. Okay, so we're gonna use the um, Rage, the Strike King Rage Tails, white cross, four inch, and we're gonna put this on the back of our chatterbait. And I have a little secret tip to tell you guys that is pretty, pretty cool. Once I get it out, the package. And put them up. Again, these are made by um, Strike King. Strike King Rage Tails White. Four inch claws. And here's a little trick I want to show you guys. So, you know how, so people usually hook it up like this. Like their swim, their chatterbait or swim jig up like this, kind of. Tail flat. Yeah, like the tail flat. The tail's flat like this. And it, but if you turn it up like this, it's kind. It looks more like a bait fish swimming, swimming than um. Than it does like the other way. Must the ride that. Rage tail up on your chatterbait, and boom, you got a nice little bait right there. And again, we're using the Shimano SLX DC with the Shimano SLX rod, seven foot two, medium heavy, fast. 
I should know extra fast. This is it, Daddy. This is an extra fast tip. I didn't know that. I, I did not know this was extra fast. It doesn't feel extra fast. You can use my swim jig if you want. I got okay guys, so now we're using the um, blues mock smash combo. Six foot ten, medium heavy, fast. With the Guggen Squad um, clutch, sexy shad, rattle trap. Twelve pound mono. Okay hey guys, so now we're using the Shimano Corrado DC reel with the Abu Garcia Vendetta rod. Seven foot medium fast tip. 12 pound mono with um, the Berkeley 110 cutter drift bait. Seven four gear ratio. Okay guys, now we're using the Revo SX um, baitcaster with the Abergrassi Vendetta rod, 7 foot medium heavy fast with um, 12 pound mono with a War Eagle spinnerbait, white spinnerbait, Kitek trailer.